New at six, President Joe Biden has talked about his struggles with it. Same goes for James Earl Jones, Bruce Willis. They're among three million people in the U.S. with a chronic stutter. There's no cure for the speech issue where sounds and syllables, words or phrases are disrupted. But Ursula Perry reports there's been a new discovery that takes us one step closer. Communication, socioeconomic status, even employability. The challenges for people who stutter are profound. Some believe those who stutter have lower intelligence or the stutter is the result of a childhood trauma. This has all been proven to be false. The one thing we know about stuttering is that it is absolutely genetic. Now researchers have been able to pinpoint some genes that are associated with stuttering. These include genes linked to a dopamine pathway. Suggesting that there might be something about how the brain is processing and signaling that could be disrupted in, in stuttering. As well as genes associated with how hormones are regulated and processed in the body. Professor Below and colleagues inputted all of these sets of traits into a data bank with 100,000 genetic samples. And we're able to identify almost 10,000 people who our algorithm, algorithm predicted might stutter. Including co-author of the study, Robin Jones. The Stuttering that I had, you know, it began around four years of age. For people who stutter, they n know exactly what they want to say, but they're not able to s say it. And now this may be the first step in giving them that voice. Communication is a quintessential aspect of the human experience. The researchers have now partnered up with 23andMe, a genomics company, and what they're looking at is the DNA for about 100,000 people who identify as those who stutter, as well as a million others who do not, to find out if there are any additional genes to consider. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.